When the Pixel 6 came out, there was only a couple methods to unlocking the device. You could use something like your actual password or the fingerprint sensor. But as many of us know by now, the fingerprint sensor on the Pixel 6 wasn't exactly known for being great. It did have multiple updates which did increase the animation of the unlock speed, but still the consistency isn't really there and you can't really just tap you have to kind of tap and hold a little bit and then the phone opens up so it's not as quick as something like the Galaxy series of phones, for example. But there was still one thing missing. Face unlock. Where was it? And why didn't Google put it in? Well, the rumors started spreading and people were starting to assume that the face unlock software didn't really work correctly with the Tensor chip, which caused the Tensor chip to heat up. And that's not good. Oh, and excessive battery drain. So that's kind of why we didn't have face unlock. Well, I mean, that's the rumor anyway. So yeah, well, I guess that was fixed because on Android 13 beta that I downloaded yesterday, if I go into the settings of the phone and search up face unlock, well, you can see it clear as day. Unfortunately, in this beta, you can't enable it. The setting is there. It's clear as day. It's right there. I'm looking at it. I'm like, yay. I click on it. No, nothing happens. It just takes me into advanced settings where there's nothing even there, even even in the same ballpark as face unlock. So, but it is there, kind of, but it's not, but it's there. So what does this mean? Well, aside from the Tensor chip being clearly rushed to market um, because the software, Google's software should should work perfectly with Google's hardware. I mean, that's like a, I mean, you know, it's like, you know, if you go running your left leg, should work as good as your right leg. You know, you shouldn't be just tripping over stuff. If you if you are, you know, probably see, should see a doctor about that. But it also means that the face unlock is coming in later betas. I'm going to assume beta 2 or beta 3. Um, after all, it's Google, so who knows? They might even take it away. They might scrap the whole thing again. Who knows? We'll see. This is a huge win for Pixel owners that just don't like that fingerprint sensor or those people that maybe you have a job that requires gloves and uh, you're kind of tired of putting in your pattern or pin all the time. Well, now you can just use face unlock. Not yet, but soon. Like I said, hopefully in the later betas. Now with the addition of the Pixel Watch, okay, everyone knows the Pixel Watch. I'm looking at it right now. It looks amazing. And I fully suspect that Google will implement what the Apple Watch and what the Galaxy Watch can do. And that is, of course, to unlock or to be able to unlock the Pixel while you're wearing the Pixel Watch on your wrist. And if the Pixel Watch is unlocked, meaning that you've already typed in your password and whatever, then it should hopefully unlock the Pixel. Google, listen to me. This is a banger. You got to do this, please. You got to do this sooner rather than later. I love Google, but man, I wish these features came out with the phone because as silly as this is, I know a few people that skipped out on the Pixel just because of that fingerprint sensor. I don't agree with it personally. I think, I mean, listen, I mean, sure, it's not the best, but, you know, it, it works. It, it works, okay? So I don't agree with not buying a phone just simply because the fingerprint sensor isn't as fast as the competition. But I mean, hey, everyone has their needs and wants, and those people skipped out on the pixel and also Google lost some customers. But hey, props to Google for finally bringing it here. It's a little late, but it's here almost not here yet. Can't say it's here yet. It's almost here. I can see it. I just can't do anything with it. <laughs> so anyway, um, to stay up to date on Android 13 on the pixel, do subscribe down below. It's free for you and it helps this channel out a lot. Also like the video because that way I know that you guys like this sort of content. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so yeah, as always, this was Mark from Markstack. Adios.